Hello and welcome to my station, The Disabled Actors Project, where we have biographies of people with disabilities who are actors. Each episode is a different biography lasting less than three minutes long. Uh, for more biographies, please see uh, my page in the comments section where more platforms of this project is on, including website links to any of the actors' work too. Uh, today we have Liz Carr. Liz is an actor, comedian and activist. Liz has progressive arthrosis multiplex cog. Nita. Sorry, I've not pronounced that right. Um, it's known as AMC, which can cause curved or stiff joints and muscle weaknesses. Liz uses a wheelchair. Now, as discussed in some of my other bios, the wheelchair is the aid rather than the disability. And more information about the condition can be also seen on the websites in the links on my other platforms. Liz has been in a number of films and TV series. Examples are the film When Barbara Met Alan, aired in 2022 on the BBC, based on real-life disability activist Barbara Linsky. Liz starred in eight series of the BBC primetime drama Silent Witness. I noticed the number of episodes that seamlessly presented diverse disability, disabled actors and storylines, which seems to have been lost since she left. Apparently, she's left Silent Witness to star in a Hollywood film, which I'm avidly waiting to watch as a is a big campaign in the disability community for the need for more disabled actors in Hollywood, which Kurt Yeager is involved in. Liz has a way of using comedy to engage with people about important social issues about disability. Humour brings social change, which is a theme shown in my other biographies on the platform. Liz has been part of many disability activism work, including Disabled People Against Cuts, the DPAC, which links can be found on my other platform stations too. Liz studied at the Nottingham University and is in a civil partnership. What always stuck me um, was a podcast I'd listened to a long time ago, which interviewed Liz. The podcast asked her, what is the one thing she would want to change about disability? Liz said, having to be thankful all the time. It is great when so many people make extensive changes for individuals with disabilities to increase their participation in things. But why do we feel so thankful and generally apologetic all the time? Thank you for listening. Like and follow if you want more. See you next time. Bye.